Today we're going to talk about live staking, which is a very inexpensive tool to get vegetation established along streams. What do you need to live stake? Pretty simple. First, you need the right species. Certain tree species have the ability to root from their dormant sticks. This here is a silky dogwood, and it has that magic ability that if we cut one of these branches and push it into the stream bank at a location where it will be able to continuously have water so that the stake doesn't dry out, when spring rolls around, it will send out roots into the soil, which remember it helps anchor the soil, and then it'll send up branches, which of course will help with um, putting out leaves and providing shade and other sorts of habitat, not only for our in-stream critters, but a lot of the species that use that streamside forest. So after we locate the tree species that we need, this is a former live stake. This tree is probably four or five years old and it started as a single stick. You can use rebar if we have to create a pilot hole so that we don't bust up the stake when we put it in. A rubber or um, not a, a hard sided mallet so that we can push in the live stake without splitting it. And the last thing we need is a lopper or something that will cut the branches. And I will now go over and we'll do a quick example of how we cut the live stake and then we'll move to demonstrating how to install it. And if we get a nice straight branch, we'll be able to cut it into several stakes that are about two feet or three feet long. So step one, let's cut down here at the bottom. And then we'll take this and I will have my capable helper, Jesse, if you'll hold this, and we will take this live stake and trim it into two or three foot lengths. So there's one, two, and then I'll invite Jesse. She can trim the branches off of that smaller one. So importantly, what we'd like to do is make sure that we get the live stake right side up. So Caitlin, if you'll hold this side, I'm going to trim this bottom at an angle, at a 45 degree angle, and that does a couple things. One, it helps me know this is the bottom. So here's our bottom. This is the top, it's a nice flat top. I'll take off any of the branches that are on it just to make it easy to get into the, the stream bank. And then it's as simple as going to the stream bank and um, staying within about one foot or two foot of the water surface, installing this live stake. Okay. Oftentimes, just in the course of a season, um, whether it's from uh, maybe wildlife browsing or um, maybe some overeager landscaping, you might lose some vegetation along your stream channel. So these live stakes, again, are very uh, low cost and easy to install. You can take advantage of vegetation that has already been planted along your stream, or you can inexpensively buy them. What I've done here is identify an area that's either been washed away or something has, has removed the vegetation that we put in. So I'm gonna create a little pilot hole with this piece of rebar just to make sure that we're able to get the live stake in. So now, I'll take this live stake and you see it's about two to three feet. Best case scenario is getting more than half of that live stake into the stream bank because we want these roots to come out and really work to hold the soil in place to serve as its own sort of rebar. So we'll gently tap until we are able to get it deeply into the stream bank. Um, so after we get more than half of it into the stream bank, we can come back and trim off the top to make sure that it's not open up for disease. And then you sit back and come and, and enjoy the live steak when it sprouts out in the springtime after leaf out.